Let's start with where Meta's smart glasses stand right now and how the next two years are shaping up. In 2025, Meta is once again teaming up with Estelol Exotica, the eyewear giant behind Ray-Ban, to release the third generation of Ray-Ban. Meta glasses, these are not just a small upgrade. They are a clear step forward in both style and technology. Two new styles are expected. The first is Aperol, a sunglasses-style design. It will probably take inspiration from the classic Wayfarer, or headliner shape, but with a new twist to make it stand out. The second is Bellini, which is designed for prescription lenses. This is a big move for people who wear glasses every day. They won't have to choose between clear vision and smart features anymore. Now, these third-gen glasses are not focused on putting a screen in front of your eyes. Instead, they double down on hands-free audio, improved cameras, and smarter AI. The goal is to keep them light, comfortable, and practical. The AI is taking a big leap forward this year. Expect real-time scene recognition, more natural voice, responses when you say hey meta, and the ability to run AI tasks for longer without killing the battery. Speaking of the battery, that's another big improvement. The new models are expected to last noticeably longer. This means more hours of music, calls, or AI use without worrying about constant recharging. The camera quality is also going up. While Meta hasn't revealed exact specs yet, the upgrade will make photo and video capture sharper and more detailed dot. Another change is the new 5 microphone array. This isn't just for better phone calls, it will also make recorded audio cleaner, which is a huge plus for content creators and anyone capturing moments on the go. This setup should reduce background noise and make voices sound more natural. But here's something many people didn't expect. Meta's smart glasses are not just a niche experiment anymore. They are actually selling extremely well. In the first half of 2025 alone, sales more than tripled compared to the previous year. For Essiloral Exotica, that meant nearly 951 million euros in free cash flow. That's not a small number. This success is why both companies are now more confident than ever to push forward with bigger, bolder plans. Running in parallel with the Ray-Ban lineup is Project Hypernova, which is planned for late 2025. These glasses are a different type of product. They will feature a small monocular display in the bottom right corner of the right lens. This is not full AR, but it is a step in that direction. What can this display show? Things like app icons, notifications, maps, and even photos, all in your line of sight. Imagine getting directions or checking a message without pulling out your phone. The design is lightweight and meant to feel natural, almost like having a miniature version of a MetaQuest. Interface right in your glasses. Hypernova is also rumored to come with a smartphone level camera. That alone could make it appealing to people who want both powerful photography and convenience. But one of the most exciting features is the neural wristband for gesture control. This means you could swipe, click, or interact with the display without actually touching the glasses. It's a much more natural way to control a wearable device. Under the hood, Hypernova will run on a custom Android-based operating system. This will allow Meta to integrate apps, services, and updates in a way that feels familiar to Android users, but optimized for smart glasses. The roadmap doesn't stop there. Meta is already working on Hypernova 2, planned for 2027. This next version is expected to feature binocular displays, meaning both eyes will see the projected content. That's when we move much closer to a true immersive AR experience. Instead of just small widgets or notifications, you could have layered digital content over the real world. Meta's approach here is gradual. They are not jumping straight into bulky, heavy AR headsets. Instead, they're making glasses that are practical today, while slowly adding more AR capabilities over time. First, they focus on style, AI, and usability. Then they start layering in visual AR elements. By 2027, the experience could be much more immersive without sacrificing comfort or style. This is a long-term play. Meta wants to make AR and AI glasses part of everyday life, not just a tech novelty. And with sales already skyrocketing in 2025, it looks like the public is ready to start that journey. By 2026, Meta's smart glasses lineup will be well into its next stage. The third generation Ray-Ban models will have been in the market for a year, and early adopters will be asking what's next. This is when Meta begins to expand the product family with more specialized features and advanced AI integration.
one of the biggest shifts will be in AI capabilities. In 2025, the AI is already able to recognize scenes, respond naturally, and complete simple tasks. But by 2026, Meta aims for something more powerful, an always available AI assistant that can operate almost entirely on device. This reduces reliance on cloud processing, which means faster responses, better privacy, and less battery drain. Don't imagine walking through a city and simply saying, what's that building? The glasses could instantly identify it and tell you its history without even needing to connect to your phone or picture pointing at an object and asking for details and the AI responds right in your ear. This level of real-time visual understanding is where Meta wants to go next. For the Hypernova series, 2026 will likely be the year they push the display technology further. The monocular display from the first Hypernova will become brighter, clearer, and more responsive. Colors will be more vivid, and text will be easier to read even in bright sunlight. Meta might also expand the range of supported apps, making the glasses useful for quick productivity tasks like viewing your schedule, controlling smart home devices, or reading messages without touching your phone. The neural wristband technology will also evolve. The first version will focus on basic gestures like swipes and taps, but the next iteration could support more complex hand movements, maybe even fine finger tracking. This could allow you to type short replies in the air, scroll through lists, or interact with 3D AR elements. On the hardware side, expect better cameras and audio systems across the board. Smartphone-level photography on Hypernova could turn into flagship phone-level photography, meaning sharper images, better low-light shots, and improved stabilization for video. Microphones will likely integrate more advanced noise cancellation, making voice commands and calls even clearer. By 2027, the big milestone will be Hypernova 2. This is where the transition from a smart wearable to a true immersive AR device really begins. The move from a monocular display to binocular displays will change everything. Instead of seeing a small information box in one eye, you'll have a wider, more natural digital overlay across your full field of vision. This opens the door to new experiences. You could see navigation arrows painted directly on the street. As you walked, friends' names could appear above them when they're in view. You could preview a piece of furniture in your living room before buying it, seeing it to scale in real time. Meta's strategy here is deliberate. They know that jumping straight to bulky, high-powered AR headsets can scare off mainstream users. Instead, they are training the market. First, they make the glasses fashionable and socially acceptable. Then they slowly add features until one day you look around and realize you're living in an AR first world without even noticing the transition. Financially, this approach is also smart. With sales already proving strong in 2025, Meta and Essilor Exotica can reinvest profits into research and development without relying solely on outside funding. This allows for steady improvement without rushing products to market before they're ready. By late 2027, Meta's glasses could become an Ellen one daily device. For many people, it might replace the constant need to check their smartphone. Messages, calls, navigation, translation, reminders, all delivered in a seamless mix of AI and AR. This roadmap shows that Meta is not treating smart glasses as a side project. They are positioning them as the future of personal computing, just like the smartphone was in the late 2000s. If they succeed, the way we interact with technology in everyday life will change completely over the next two to three years.